everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a fun project for you today. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this great? Such a cool layout, such a fun block. This is our block right here, and of course there's a million ways to lay it out. And let me tell you how to make this. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need are three different pre-cuts. A two and a half inch set strip, and we used every single one, and we've used London Fog Batiks by Island Batik. You're going to need a one and a half inch strip. So these originally came on a nice roll uh, and you're going to need one of those. And, and then I used three of this little pre-cut, which is two and a half inch square and it's double the size. So you get 84 uh, squares in here. They're just little two and a half inch squares cut up and I used three of those. So for your outer border, you're going to need one and three quarter yards and it's, it's a six and a half inch border. And for your backing, look at this. We took one of the prints and used it. This print actually comes in 108 wide. And um, we use two and a half yards of that. So two and a half yards of a 108 backing. So when making this project, I literally used one pack of these two and a half inch strips. But Island Batik strips tend to run a little bit longer. So if you run out of strips, you can cut it out of your border yardage. We put a little bit extra in there so you could cut some strips out of there uh, if you need some extra strips to finish up your blocks. So let me show you how to make this. We're starting with a two and a half inch square of white and a two and a half inch square of color. And um, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. This is how I tend to sew. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut a two and a half inch square out of my strip like this. And I'm going to put these together right sides and I'm going to sew corner to corner on this. So that means you can press the line or draw the line and I'm just going to lay this across here and draw the line. And we're going to sew right on that line, not either side, but right on it. Make sure you go corner to corner and we're going to sew right on top of that line. So we'll come over here and sew that. This is all about bordering and bordering and bordering. Now sometimes when you start this um, sewing, you're gonna, this line, you're gonna draw your lines for a while and then you'll get so used to it, you'll start just sewing straight across the block. And when I do that, I just wanna tell you this because sometimes this happens. When I do that, sometimes my blocks aren't exactly square. So if you fold this block, you can see which side actually makes the most square block. Because sometimes it's one side and sometimes the other. See this one leaves a little bit extra here, so I'm going to fold it from this side. And so, which means I'm going to cut off the side that I think is a little bit wonky. Alright, so there we go. Now we have this block done. Every block gets bordered with an inch and a half strip. So we're going to start right here with an inch and a half strip. And I'm just going to cut off the, uh, the selvage right here. And I tend to use my scissors for this kind of a thing because um, I just do. I'm old school. So I'm going to put my strip. I'm going to sew a strip on here, cut it off, and sew a strip on the other side. So we're bordering each corner. I mean, we're bordering each little block. And we're bordering on the color. So the color always touches our background. So I'm going to bring this over here and sew around it. And we're going to do several rows of this, so this will get to make sense, uh, sense to you really quick. Oh, I'm a little in too far. Hang on. I just veered in right there, so I'm going to start over and make sure my quarter inch. You want to keep your quarter inch pretty close on this one because your, um, your blocks will get kind of wonky if you don't. All right, so there's my block, and I'm going to use my, I'm going to, hopefully you can see this. I'm going to use my block as the cut mark, so actually you can just lay your ruler along the edge of the block and cut before you press it open. So uh, I would, you know, if it were me, I'd have a little nest right around me with an ironing board and, a, and uh, my cutting mat, everything right there, because this is pretty iron cut intensive. All right, so now we've got, we're putting our two and a, our one and a half inch strip on the other side. And again, I just use my strip as my cut line. And you can do that with a scissor or with your rotary cutter and just trim that off. All right, now we're gonna press this open. And now it's time to add our first layer of color. So this is the block that we're working on right here. And so we've got our little two and a half inch square in the center. Now we're adding, we've added our white. Now we're adding our first row of color. And that's a two and a half inch strip right here. So I'm just gonna grab one that's different. Now in the pattern, it will tell you exactly how, uh, what size these need to be cut. 
But of course, I just grab the strip and run with it. So I'm gonna put this, the same color on both sides. So I'm gonna sew down on this one right here. Just straight down. Keep my quarter of an inch. And then before I press it open, I'm gonna use that as my, my mark to cut it. And then I'm just gonna finger press. Now, honestly, when you're dealing with batiks, it is so, they're so easy to finger press. They just lay back so nice. And we're gonna go down this side. All right, and again, we're gonna clip. And press it open. Now, what we're gonna do, once we get on, around every two and a half inch row, we are going to sew a two and a half inch square on the corners. So I'm just going to press my squares real quick like this, or draw the line, either one works. And I'm gonna put a square on each side, so right here. And you always wanna make sure that you're going from the outside of your strip in, and from the outside in on both, both ones. Now this one right here, this one didn't uh, iron very well. My, my line, you want your line right in the middle, corner to corner. And uh, my line didn't, I didn't take good time with that one. Because your line corner to corner, that's gonna be your sew line. So again, I'm putting this on, and then these are going to be cut this way and sewn that way as well. So we're going to the machine and sewing on the line and then I'm just going to flip this around, make sure it's still lined up on the corner, and sew on the line. And remember, you sew from the inside to the outside or outside to the end, whatever makes sense to your brain. All right. Then we're going to trim these off. This is one of those quilts when you make it, at least for me, that your, your whole sewing table gets a mess because you've got all the the strips piled everywhere and the pieces and your ironing and cutting and... All right, so now we have this row and again, we're just gonna add our one and a half inch strips. So we're gonna go around both sides, always adding to the color. And I'm just gonna clip this with my scissor right here. Finger press it up and sew down the side. All right, we're gonna clip this open, just like this, and I'm gonna press it back. Now, just like I added the color here and my cornerstones, I'm gonna add color again, white, color again, and don't forget your cornerstones each time. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew that and I'll meet you right back here. So now I'm adding my last square and I'm sewing corner to corner, corner, remembering to sew from out to in or vice versa. And then we're going to trim off these corners and our block will be done. So here's our one corner here and here's our other one. There we go. Alrighty, so then I'm just gonna press these out to frame up my square. Give it a nice shot of steam. There we go. And look at that, our block is done. So this is how you put the blocks together. Now, the way we did this, we laid it out several different ways. This is really a creative block and fun to see in all different ways. We kind of liked, um, we even sashed it at one point, but we kind of liked how it all came together in this center right here to make the star, or the box kind of starish thing in the center like this. So like this. So let's look at the center of the quilt. So when I do, whenever I do a quilt like this that has one center where it all comes together, I actually lay the center out first, and then I look and I see that these two come together and these two come together and I lay them up, up, and then I go out, out, this way on all four sides, and then I turn these so they make sense. So you're actually sewing 
these two together and these two together to make all your top, side, and bottom blocks. These corner blocks are all going the same direction. So you'll just want to look at the diagram and follow that to be able to make your quilt. But it makes a great quilt. It's about 80 by 80. Really fun. Just straight border sewing. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.